I think the beard. Look, look how cold it is. It was minus three when I got in the van this morning. I need this beard. Give the beard some love. What's up? Ooh, we've got sunrise. Let's see if you can guess where we are. I'm going to tell you in a minute. The moon's out. And it is bloody freezing. Today I'm in Wiltshire. Uh, originally I am from Swindon, which is in Wiltshire. But the girlfriend's parents all live in Pusey, which is that way, Marlborough, Pusey, and then you're going towards Devizes, Westbury, back down towards the south. So yeah, I'm back up in Wiltshire today, and this is, it's called Silbury Hill, and it's an old, ancient burial ground, believe it or not. Apparently underneath there is chambers, casks, mummies and all kinds of shit. But it does it does act as a nice a nice uh, subject in an image. Now I've managed to do a bit of research on the internet. I've got these lovely nice reedy grass with ice and snow uh, frost all over them. I've got this bridge in my left hand side of the frame just catching this left hand tree in as well and then Silvery Hill in the distance I have taken some images already because as always getting out of bed is a bit of a struggle and as much as I have good intentions of getting here nice and early I always push it to the wire so I've already caught the best of what I think these purples because there's not much cloud in the sky basically this morning so I was struggling, I, oh, I think I was going to struggle for colour but it was actually quite nice with the contrast of the the white, the green and a little bit of pink, like a little dust in a pink that I got it's actually turned out quite nice so I think all the pink's gone but what I'm going to do now is wait for that sun to rise up from over there and hopefully it might just light up the side of this Silvery Hill. That's what I'm going to do. I have switched around slightly. I think I was over there at one point, and then here, and then there, and then here, and then and now. Wow, well, now I'm here talking to you. Once again, freezing my nuts off. In my last video, I was freezing, and once again, gloves are absent. Right, I'll just quickly show you my settings. It's, uh, it's just kind of pointless really because it's changed. At the moment I'm at 125th, I'm at F8 ISO 100 because F8 gives me maximum sharpness throughout with this lens. Obviously my tripod cable release and I have been bracketing no filters. I actually got a polarizer on because the polarizer just makes the clouds pop. Um, I wasn't going to use any polarizer. I just spun it off, spun it on, and decided to use it in the end. It just adds adds detail in the, in the sky, in a sky that's pretty pretty detailless now, really. Right. I'm going to finish my coffee, which is over there getting cold, and basically just wait for this light to come up. It's beautiful. 
I also seen a massive barn owl, not barn, well, an owl, big owl, big ass owl. Uh, if you probably have to walk half a mile from here to the road, you can probably hear the road on my mic. There's a road that runs right like that, right around the back to Avebury. Now, Avebury's over there. People should probably know what Avebury is. It's kind of like Stonehenge. Lots of stones and shit. And then, um, yeah, so I was walking along here. And there's a little brook, obviously, down there. As you can see my picture, it ain't got any water in it. And I walked in the brook down there. And I just heard this bloody great big owl. Scared the... Sh scared the... Scared me. Massive great big thing. Big white. White barn owls are white, aren't they? I think it was a barn owl. Mm. Anyway, I'm rambling. Right, I shall see you in a bit. Enjoy these pictures I took from this morning. Ciao. Right people, we are getting there. The sun is officially up and it's just casting some nice light along there. What I've done now is I've moved slightly over from, from over there. I've got a filter system on, uh, Nissi filter system, I've got a Lee two stop hard edge on the kink. I'm just bringing it down that just to bring back the detail in that sky over to the left. And I'm still bracketing because it's such a contrast. I want all this foreground all nice and in 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 view basically i want to light up this, this this foreground and try and capture that i don't want nothing silhouetted basically so i want it all i like that hdr look but nothing, nothing too major but so that's what i'm doing i'm at one fifteenth second one fifteenth of a second i talk so fast f8 iso 100 and now i want to take my shots two second timer Cable release. Absolutely magic. What's up, people? Same competition. The sun is out like it was before. What do you think the images i just shown you? Hopefully you like them. Can't work out whether I like blue hour, golden hour, which you've just seen, or 10 stop, we'll find out. I've got 10 stop in, it was at one one hundredth of a second, which has given me around, I've just done one at 10 seconds, but it was underexposed. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna ramp it up to 15 yeah, it's still well underexposed longer I'm going to go 30 30 seconds ISO 100 F8 uh, grad filter and a 10 stop let's see what it's like <laughs> Ten stop. I think on the back of the camera, I quite like it. I've done variations. I've done some ones at 30 seconds right through to, uh, I think my last one was at two minutes because I wanted to, the light was changing as I was going through. So I started off long, ended up slower. Uh, started off long, ended up faster. That makes sense. <laughs> right, before I go, what I'm going to do now is, because it's such a contrast between the foreground and the sky, I'm going to do a mega HDR. So I'm going to take seven images, a stop each time, so seven stops, blend them together, stitch them together, mix it all together in Lightroom, and just see what it looks like. Some people don't like HDRs. I, I like HDRs. I like bracketing. It's, you know, sometimes it's cold and you can't bother to get your filters out, or not so much bothered, but like where I'm at the sea all the time, you get spray on them all the time. So it's sometimes it's easier just to bracket. And 
also it gives you the option then to turn it obviously which you do turn it into HDR but it gives you the option to give it that HDR look if you want to which I always generally do I don't always post them on my videos but um, I like playing on the computer so so yeah that's what I'm going to do I'm at one two hundred of a second F8 ISO 100 cable release remote timer seven shots in the bag <laughs> Right, people, I'm out of here. I'm going to start walking. I'm actually starving. Oh, I think I've had the best of the light now. As you can see, the sun's way up in the sky now. It is casting some nice light along here and through these tunnels, but I could be here all day, really, if I'm honest. I think I had the best, the best light this morning. So uh, I'm going to call that it because I've got stuff to do today. But yeah, hope you like the pictures. Hopefully you liked the video. Please give us a thumbs up and a like on social media, Instagram, Facebook. Uh, I'll put all the links, all the links to my channels and social media is all down down below. Um, I've signed up to a company now, uh, Squarespace, to get my website done. So this week I'm doing a website. That's the reason why there hasn't been a video. I do apologise. Been very busy at home doing the website. It is up and running. It's um photo ninja photography dot com. There's only images on it at the moment and some basic things. I haven't uh completely finished building it. Um just haven't had enough time. But anyway, go and uh have a look eventually I will be doing some prints um in the near future. But for now this is Silver Hill in Wiltshire. I'm Photo Ninja. Like, share, and subscribe for more. See you in a bit. Ciao.